Hang on, let's just have a second. Right. right, here we go. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Right. Three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Box of Demons, and on screen, as you can see, we have Deadside. Yes, I've been invited to play this game before the actual release in a couple of days, and I won't just be on my own in this new experience. I'll be joined with a couple of people you may have seen on my DayZ videos. One of them is Big Stu, say hello. Yo, 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 peeps. And the other one is Billy Bunting. I don't know his surname, but he's always been Billy Bunt. Can't get me words out. Billy Bunting to me. Hey up, Billy. How are you doing? Hi, buddy. Right, so we're going to jump in and experience this together. Completely new. None of us have got past this loading screen. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Lads, will you press your join server button now? Right. Which server are we going to join? You two still there? Yeah. yeah. Just checking. Uh, what about official Europe 201? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're joining that one. Right. Uh, where are we? Join. And let's see what happens. Right. So, character screen. What's your first thought, lads? I'm looking in there. Uh, I don't know. Are we getting that, a Daisy vibe yet? Not yet, no. But... But that backpack <laughs> and that VSS in background reminds me of um, Tarkov. I don't know why. Tarkov. Yeah, but oh, I'm looking like a a young Bruce Willis from Bald <laughs> Bruce Willis. Is that the bottom left one? No, I've gone second from the left. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Can he spin him round? No, you can't, can you? I can't spin him round. That's me. Oh, I've gone for Jared, top left. Yeah, have you, have you gone for... Sense. Billy, haven't you gone for top right for uh, Kung Flu version? No. <laughs> I don't know what I can keep that in. Anyway... Right, I'm ready to press create. Are we ready, lads? Yeah. Let's do it. Press create. Oh, it's loading. Patient. He's building. He's... The anticipation <laughs> is epic. Is this going to be a... Oh. Oh. No. Oh, I'm in. They're all in as well. I'm in. Right. Oh. My hamsters are still spinning. Come on. Right. First, very, very first impression of just looking around the anti-aliasing is extremely high everything looks super uber sharp I don't know what you guys think yeah it's good it's very very sharp um, and if you weren't sure lads you can click your mouse wheel in to go into third person and uh, you two I want you two to chip in as much as possible yeah just say what you, what you think what, you, what you're feeling what you think about it it uh, my yeah. first reaction here is it feels like scum. Oh, oh! See, oh, not, I, not I'm still two scum, minutes so. behind you. Yeah, it's good. Come on. It definitely feels like uh, scum to me. Uh, from the very first few seconds I'm actually stood here. That wasn't a bad game, scum. That was all right. Well, this is still plodding along. Uh, you actually, in, have you got boots on the ground yet, still? No, no, I'm still flying through the black screen vortex. All right, yeah, I did get that for a little bit. It's... Let's have a look at the view distance up here and see what we think. Yeah, because the um, distance parts are uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, the view distance is quite quite far. I don't yeah. know what the uh, LOD or the level of detail is regarding the grass just yet as we come up to the edge of the cliff here and have a look down. Um... Let's just have a look in the inventory and see what we've actually got. So we press the tab key. We have got a lighter and a knife. That's literally everything we've got. And under the craft menu, we have equipment, medicine. What else have we got in here? Base materials and containers, which obviously we won't have any of that. So a knife is the two key. Just... Oh, I'm in. You're in. Right. I'm in a wood. Right, you can click your mouse wheel in, Stu, to go to uh, third person. Oh, yeah. Um, so we've got in the wood as well. So. so we've got a knife, and it looks like we've got the F keys as well. So F one is lighter. Let's just have a look. How do we have a look at the lighter? There we go. We can just about see the lighter front there, which I suppose we better save. What do you think, Stu? You think it feels a little bit like sc uh, scum? It yeah, reminds me heavily very, of scum. Um, yes, I, I do. I like it. Uh, oh, I can see somebody running about. Oh. Oh, actually, oh. we can press M 
if you press M for map, um, oh, oh, uh, yeah, if you both press hey. M for, on. are you in a combat? Ah! <laughs> You're in combat. Ah, the guy with a gun. Put your hands up. Uh, backpacks. <laughs> no, no. Oh, they've run off. I'm hiding behind a tree. Right, I was going to say, if you press me, your I'm M key, Willis. you can see that that is the area that we've only got in the testing phase, but that is the actual size of the entire map that's greyed out. And um, you can also see there's a star, which yes. is a... Is that a mission? I think it's a mission. Yes, it is a mission with a star in it, which is an epic mission, which is way beyond us. And the green areas are the safe zones. So I'm up in the Don't. north towards Gorky. I don't know where you two are. I'm near uh, Stepno. Stepno. I'm near a place called um, Lazaran. La Lazaran. -E oh, you're right down there. So, yeah. hey, what, well, shall we both meet around Stepno? Yeah. Right, what you can do is if you bring up your map, if you press left shift and click on Stepano, it should put a marker in the world that we can see. Yeah, yeah so I'm 1.7 kilometers away. A minute. So I'm going to head... On 1.1. And you're there, obviously, Stu. I'm 200 meters away. Right, well, you might as well have a little uh, little run around and see what you think. So... Man, Big he, Bruce is he, now running down and going to go have a look. -y. Ah, buildings. Details nice. Is the vaulting. Yes, there is. Defaulting yes. is in by default. Yes, it's quite nice. And um, let's get down here. I, I'm getting an extremely strong DayZ vibe. I don't know about you two. Oh! Right, mothers. And as well, goes, um, if you press the Alt key, goes can do like the. Um... I can turn your head around. Oh, free look. Yeah. Nice. So we've yeah, got a shotgun. Nice one. So, uh, and in this game as well, usually what tends to happen is, is that you get ammo with the rifle at the same place, so you're not struggling so much. That is correct. With there so being more of an emphasis on actual PvP, and I've just found myself a torch, because of course there is day and night cycle in the game. And what we'll do is, as we head over towards and meet up with these guys, we shall go in and have a look inside the buildings and see what we think. I'm not expecting too much here with it being an alpha. This is a torch there, and I can't get it. Anyway, let's go in the buildings and have a look what they're like, because, of course, we're, we're all going to be comparing this to DayZ. Is this a new DayZ? Well, who knows? What have we got here? We've got some nails. Nails, they're like gold dust in DayZ. They are. And it looks like yeah. there's a jacket on the floor there, but I can't actually pick it up. Whether we have to do that in here, ground. No, I can't pick these uh, these clothes up unless they're just part of the actual geometry of the world here. I don't think we can pick those up. Well, inside the buildings looks quite. Um, I've got a walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie. Quite quite basic. Um. But if it's still in alpha mode, that's understandable. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not its not even in release. Not even in yeah. pre-release pre released, if that even makes sense yet. If I can get my teeth in. So we are still in the testing phase here. But I can't imagine the game's going to change too much. And we have a scorpion. And I'll tell you what, lads, that makes a really nice change that when you find an actual weapon, you've already got some ammo for it. Yeah, and probably some... Um magazine scenes as well yeah that yeah exactly that's what i mean rather than having to um hunt around for stuff all the hours time. and hours and hours yeah so this aspect that they're mentioning about increasing the pvp aspect of it looks like it could be a good thing if that's what floats your boat right so we've had a look in here let's just keep heading up I can see food, but I can't get the food. I, I don't know. I see what I've noticed, guys. I don't know if you're getting the same thing, but when I run and I stop, the audio sounds like there's somebody walking behind me for a second or two. I don't know if you want to just try that. Yeah, there's like a... Not lag, but... Uh... Uh, it, it, maybe the headphones have gone on, but it definitely sounds like there's somebody you know, like taking a footstep behind me when I stop. 
Well, this is quite an interesting place. It looks like a derelict building site with a watchtower. Now, if you know DayZ, you'll know that every time we go to the watchtowers, there's usually something up at the top there. Well, we got to press F to climb up. So, where are you, what are you? What can you two see now? Where are you? What's your What's your thoughts on, on the environment or whatever you're looking at? On a like a base, um, like a military base. Well, it's it's got um, towers and stuff, and some, and there's loads of stuff inside it. So, like um, sh shotgun rounds and stuff like that. So it's um, pretty good. Sweet. Ah, no, I found a shotgun, but because I don't have a backpack, uh, you've got very limited uh, ammo space by the looks of it. So we have got a shotgun now, an IZ head H43, hotkey 3. So let's just have a look at this. And as you can see, there is the shotgun. What a great view, view vantage point we've got here. I'm just going to fire it just to see what we think of the audio. Right, okay. This, this is what I thought when I was watching some of the videos of other players. I think the audio is not beefy enough. Um, I have seen a lot of players saying that they think this is like Escape from Tarkov. Please, this is nothing like Escape from Tarkov. EFT's one of its strongest points for me is the audio. Um, yeah, this audio sounds a little bit... A little bit weak. I don't know if you guys have actually tried firing your weapon yet. Yeah, I've just found a shotgun and a son of shotgun. Have you tried the actual audio? Do you think it sounds a bit weak? Yeah, it doesn't seem the best, um, but it is, um, well, it's... It's almost, it, feels to me, as yeah. if the, the volume on the weapons needs to go up by about 100, if you know what I mean. So when you fire it, you know you're bloody firing a weapon. However, the reload animation on the shotgun is rather nice. Where he breaks the shotgun, takes the shell cartridges out, yeah. puts new ones in. Yeah. That's nice. What we got here? Rubbing alcohol. Oh, and we have a rifle. Oh, so let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the scorpion. Can we double click to pick things up? No, we physically have to drag them in. Then, by the looks of it. Oh, I thought I had somebody creeping about then. Right, I need to find a backpack. How, how do you crouch? Uh, Control's not working. Zed. Zed for crouch. That's a bit weird, isn't it? You'd think Zed would be prone. Ah. Gents, if you press your tab key... Yep. Brings up your inventory, inventory and craft yeah. menu. Yep, crafting. So, as you can see, the graphics here... It's got that nice sort of soft ambience here in the forest. And unlike DayZ, I can tell already that the ambient audio is really quite nice. I can hear, as I run through the forest here, I can hear the birds and things singing. And there is a little bit of volumetric light, as you can see there. Right, so 1.4 kilometers. If there's no action on the way, nothing else to discuss. Uh, we shall come back after this short break. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I guess I'm only two, 200 mm meters away from... Oh, what? I'm hearing somebody on a walkie-talkie. Can you hear that? No. What the fuck? Ah, see, I picked up a walkie-talkie. And every now and then, I can hear somebody talking on it. What's that about? Mm. Yeah, I'm just ah, checking the actual audio. Is that uh, are you getting feedback because you have a radio? What well, yeah, a but I, I don't obviously we're on Discord by the way. Um obviously if people are playing this properly, maybe they have to pick up a, a radio, you know, to be able to communicate in game with the teammates. Maybe that's the idea of it. And I'm just picking up somebody else in the vicinity, I don't know. I definitely keep thinking I'm hearing somebody walking around, but I think it's the lag of my Ooh. footsteps. I've just killed someone. Oh, yeah. oh, Billy, you've just shot me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You shot each other. 
<laughs> yeah, but um, guess what? Dude, <laughs> someone shot at me first. Ah, I see, I see. You too, I don't know. Uh, well, maybe maybe you'll get closer to that. Uh... Um, yeah, I'm not oh, far off. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm hearing gunshots now. Right. Jeez, if I stay in like the the area and then. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I've just seen somebody. I've just seen somebody. You in a like a farmyard kind of thing by a um, railway yard. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just going to go radio quiet a minute. I'm, I'm hearing multiple gunshots. Oh. Oh, uh -oh. shit, you know. That's AI, it's got to be. Yes, I've just stumbled across an AI patrol. Oh, shit. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, take that to top lip. Ah, reload! What the hell? Whew. You'd be you'd be proud of me, lads. I've dropped three of them, but I think there's another one. Right, how do I I'll tell you what, the AI is thick as pig muck. Yeah. Right. So, oh, oof, 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 oof. I have a pistol. I, I, uh, I'm about but to die I here. I can't equip it. I'm coming out, I'm coming out! Where are you, you little mofo? I'm coming down to you, you've got a patrol about 250 metres from you. Oh, moving down the road. Oh! Oh! To the house and then... Hang on lads, give me one sec, give me one sec. I need to hear him running. Oh! I'm dead. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Ah, oh, that was a human player. Well, there you go. You can talk now, lads. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how quickly and how fast you can actually get into PvP experiences here. But of course, if you look at the map, this is only the area that we're actually playing in here. I suppose once all this opens up down at this bottom end, the chances of running into people will be less. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. There's only 30 odd players on at the minute, and I imagine if it gets into DayZ territory where this is all down here with no AI or zombies, I'm worried that the game may, air quotes, become a bit boring and a bit of a running simulator because there's no vehicles at the minute. Hmm. Right, where are you, where are you, lads? Where are you? <sighs> I'm moving back to my body. Where's it? However, me? I'm at Yanta now, I'm over to the east. One thing that is irritating me, I have a pistol, yet I can't equi equip it. Hmm. Uh, is that because you haven't got enough, you haven't got a vest, have you? And you haven't, have you got enough inventory slots? Yeah, I've got a backpack. Well, I've, I've got a man bag. Yeah, but would you put a pistol in your man bag or would you put it in your vest? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I've just been killed, so... Who by? Um, the AI. So I'm just just coming down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What was talking? Anybody know? Anybody know what the talk key is? Nope. Nope. There's a guy. I want to talk to him and not kill him. Where are we? Settings, controls, voice chat, F6. Oh. Yo, buddy, can you hear me? I, I've not got a knife in my hands. Oh, it's the AI. Right, I'm out of here. Right, okay. I've had a lot of people saying that the AI actually have, like, laser quality accuracy as well. Yeah, it's true. And there is some down there, so it's time for us to... Can we, can we vault into here? No, we can't. Right. Right, well, they are shooting at us, but they haven't actually got us as yet. And we've got a pistol, a Makarov, by the looks of it. Uh, let's get you into slot. How do we do it? Is that you, Billy? Whereabouts are you? Oh, shit, I can hear somebody running. I've just come out of some woods. Oh, I've just killed a player. Right, that's yeah. I need to get up here quickly. 
There's somebody downstairs, I can hear him. Yo, I'm not gonna shoot you if you come in. Oh yeah, oi. Oh god. Oh, it's just some kill, killed me. Right, so I've got a pistol, but why can't I equip it? No suitable slots found for this item, so why can't I put that in my hands? It's, it's strange that, isn't it? I've got a pistol as well, Stu. No free slots. Oh, somebody coming up the steps. I'm gonna die here. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't shoot! I'll fucking knife you then! Hey, you weren't expecting that, were you? Trying to shoot me, no bed. Just killed him with knife. Okay, no bed. I love that jacket. I'll tell you that for no. I'll have your vest as well. Uh, ah, Stu, I think. Well, that is really strange. I've got the pi I've got a pistol and a vest, but I can't equip it. Look, I'm uh, I'm on a mission here. Two people down. Why can't we equip a pistol? Equip this. This weapon can be carried in any backpacks. No. Why can't I? I can't equip the pistol. I don't know what that's about. That's got to be a bug, surely. I don't know, but I've just killed three people. Yeah, those are probably the ones that killed me, Stu. Did you have a pump patchy shotgun? Yeah. All right, I've got your body. Why can't we equip the pistol? That's that's mental. There must be something that we're we're doing wrong here. Right, well, anyway, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, a really quick look at this game. Um, I'm sure we will be doing some more videos, the three of us, at some point, a little bit more in-depth, and I'll do some solo videos, and we'll go through a look at audio graphics and all the rest of the bull off that goes with it. I've got a power drill. Turn into Driller Killer. Nice. Um, but that's your, your first look. That's going to be your first experience as you come into the game. The AI, uh, a little bit dumb. They can shoot super accurate as well, like laser beams. The audio, I think, needs a lot of work. Um, I don't know what you guys think. If you want to s say anything on it, you don't have to. If you don't yeah, want, uh, yeah, I'm quite yeah, enjoying it. Do you think it's, it's a, potential? You know, a little run out. Yeah, it's good. But do you think it's Daisy-ish? Yeah. Yeah. I, it makes me wonder whether they've just completely ripped Daisy off, thrown in some scum. And um, <laughs> a few of the little bits, aren't they? Obviously, blatantly. But hey, oh, we are still awaiting as well on the actual re release price at this early stage, ladies and gentlemen. Billy Bunting and Big Stu, what would you say you your guess would be for the release price of this game in a couple of days? About thirty nine quid. Really? Yeah. Stu, I'd go fifteen quid. Well, I was I was going to go for twenty two quid, so there you go. Well, there's there's a guy here. Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! I said, don't shoot me, knobhead! Oh, fucking asshole! Well, that's the end of the video. <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole! <laughs> <sighs>